Hi friends. Hello. I'm, <laughs> I'm Leah Noel, Aviatrix Stitcher, and this is my friend Katie. Hello. And she is um, a localish friend, uh, and she is making videos under the name Notes by the Trail. From the Trail. Oh, sorry. Notes from the Trail? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Um, but we just thought that um, since we got together today, we would do a video together um, and just share our cross-stitching stuff with you. Yeah. So um, I thought maybe we could get to know Katie a little bit uh, better. So your channel, your new channel. Yes. Notes from the, from the trail. trail. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I live in Trail County in North Dakota. And so it's kind of a spin on that. So it is trail with two L's because that is the county name. That's how the county spells mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay. And then um, you do cross stitch, a lot of cross stitch. Yep. But you also do a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. So I knit and I sew. Mm -hmm. um, I have, well, pretty much anything. Fiber arts. Yeah. Is game. Yeah. So. You don't label all of your videos as floss tube. Right. Because they can reason. talk about a lot of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of cross stitching content, anyways. There is, yeah. Because it's kind of, it goes in cycles. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I like to work on. Yeah. Do you think all of your videos are going to have some cross stitching related stuff? Or. I would think so. I would think so too. Yeah. Because you cross stitch a lot. I do. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to link her channel in the description box so you can find her easily. Mm -hmm. Um, and today we thought we would share, let's see, I've got some new starts and whips and a little bit of haul and Katie brought some things to share. Yeah, I, I brought uh, the most recent finish I did. I have what I've been working on and then probably one of my largest finishes I've done that took like six Five or five months, I think. Yeah. Five months of steady work. Yeah. Pretty much every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was my personal request. Yeah. That she brought it because <laughs> because I'm so proud of her finish. Like for her, it's just it's awesome. So. Okay. So. Um, yeah. I don't know. Start. Should I talk about my new starts? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have some new starts. The first one is <clears throat> violets blue. By Blackbird Designs. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. Um, <clears throat> they need to see it. That's true. They need to see it. Um, so I started this because my 14-year wedding anniversary is next week, and um, and this is what I am doing to celebrate that. And hopefully, I'll have this done by next year. So for the 15-year, and then I have. I have one lined up, a drawn thread lined up for our 20 years, so. Ooh. So this is the progress I have so far, and um, this, this floss, this floss here is salt, I think saltwater taffy or something, hmm. and it's, I'm on the fence about it. That's what's called for? Yeah, everything here is called for, um, but it's just really, it's super green and pink. And it kind of blends in with those light pink shutters. Yeah, it doesn't look as pink in the photos on mm -hmm. the pattern. Right. But I figure I'll just, I think I'm just going to go for it. Just stitch everything as called for on this one. Well, and you know, houses look like that too. You know, Yeah, stuff blends in sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and this... Um, or you could always do a back stitch around the shutters. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I could do a back stitch around the shutters. The um, the shutters on the door are all um, antique rose by Gentle Arts, and you know, <laughs> you never. <laughs> it seems like you just never know what you're gonna get with Gentle Arts. If it's gonna be a rich color or yeah. like a super light color, and this one happened to be really light, so it blends in with the the pink on the house. Mm -hmm. But. I don't know. I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Um, okay, and then I started, I actually had two other um, starts. Uh, I'm doing these teacher gifts, and they were just calling to me, so I just mm -hmm. decided to start them, because 
that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first one is Thankful. Ooh, Thankful by Heart in Hand Needle Art. Super tiny pattern. Mm -hmm. Super wow. tiny. Yeah, and lots of colors. And lots of colors, yeah. She does pretty good with the symbols. Like, it's pretty easy to see mm -hmm. um, where they change, but the the squares are super, super small. Um, but we got pretty far, actually. Mm -hmm. I think this is only two days. I, I keep covering Katie's face. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, um... I'm actually doing all the called for threads in this, and I just picked, I picked my own fabric. Mm -hmm. It's like some kind of mocha, light mocha, it looks good. Belfast. I don't know what brand though. But yeah, that's that's another one I'm doing all the called for floss, because um, I like them all. Mm -hmm. So, and then the last one um, is another teacher gift. This is the um, Apple Blossom Sampler by The Drawn Thread. Very nice one. Yeah. I love this one. It's been on my wish list forever, and I told you already, but there's, yeah. so, much, there's so much brown in the pattern that it stayed on my wish list for a long, long time. And then finally, when I was looking for teacher patterns, it just kind of stood out to me mm -hmm. for this specific teacher, so I decided to go for it. And that's my little start. Um, okay, it's getting a little washed. <laughs> but um, I'm doing this on 40 count, one over one. No, sorry, one over two on 40 count. And the fabric is Vintage Cedar Plank by Lakeside Linens. And it's my first time using Lakeside Linens. Really, really like the color. It's mm -hmm. like a, um, it's almost like a green and purple. Yeah. But it's super evenly dyed. Mm -hmm. It's just really, it's a nice... That is. Mm -hmm. Skill. Yeah. <laughs> Katie does some dyeing of her own, so... Yeah, but I do it renegade style, and I don't really keep track of things, so... Yeah. I let the dye do whatever it does. <laughs> you play. I do. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. I don't do it for a business. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yet. No. <laughs> oh, then I'd have to keep track. That's true. You would a lot to, of things. <laughs> yeah, I get into bookkeeping too. Uh huh. So. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, I suppose. Um, do you have any new starts that you want to show? Since I just showed my new starts. Yeah. Well, I I kind of go through waves of working on something all the way through, or switching things up and this one I started a few days ago and I've kind of just been working only on it and it is Needle Worker from Little House Needle Works. It's a thread pack so it comes with all the classic color works and I am pretty close to done actually. Yeah that looks... <laughs> I'm so impressed with how fast you do things. Like she's well, such a fast stitcher. I do have a lot of time to stitch too. Yeah. That makes a difference. That does make a difference. And this fabric is just like the MCG textiles that you get at any big box store. And I dyed it with walnut ink mm -hmm. to give it the color. So yeah, I'll yeah. just hold it up here. Just a few letters left, and then it's a gonna be finished. Yeah, that looks really nice. So that is my new start and really the only thing I've worked on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So That's not good. a variety. Well, <laughs> you, not everyone needs to stitch variety, you know, that's always the... Yes. That's always the conversation, right? Oh yeah. So. Okay, I have um, two, no, three whips three whips to show. Um, I worked a little bit on the forest. Um, actually, probably not much since last time I showed this, but that's okay. I'll show it anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we had to pause because uh, 
my dog was barking, but um, so since the last time you saw this, I added this border. Um, where is it? This squirrel. Um, most of this tree, I just have the tops of the um, acorns to do. Some fish. I think that might be it. I'm not sure. Whoop. So it's coming along. And then I also, um, on a whim, picked up Octopus's Garden by Ink Circles work on this for a little while. Um, I didn't I didn't actually do much. I just added this um, green seaweed and part of this octopus. Um, I was actually stitching this while I was watching a new television show so <laughs> <laughs> you know that's never really a good idea for me. I didn't yeah. get much stitching done that way. Well sometimes you could if it wasn't interesting enough right? I guess yeah. <laughs> Do you stitch? Do you uh, watch things when you stitch? Usually, yeah. Or yeah, like TV or well Netflix. Oh Netflix, yeah, yeah. Well, that's usually what I mean when I say TV. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, but generally the same thing I've seen before, so I don't have to pay attention. Yeah, that's yeah, me too. Or something that's like super dialogue based. Like yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'll watch comedians. Oh yeah, because you don't usually have to look at them. <laughs> They're just, you know, <laughs> saying funny things. So. Yes. All right. And then the last whip that I have to show you is Harmony by Nancy Turner, uh, who is Victorian model sampler shop. And um, let's see. I, I think I don't remember exactly what I what I showed you last time on this one, but I finished August's. Quaker motif. I need a bigger thing. <laughs> I forgot to grab something. But, um, uh, yeah, is that even? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I finished this, um, can you point here? This one? That one. Yeah, that's the one I finished, um, for August. And, um, if you're just tuning in, I am doing one Quaker motif every month in a different color um, provided by Nancy Turner, Victoria Mono Sampler Shop. Um, she sent me a, I won one of her giveaways last year and she sent me an array of blues and greens. Um, so I just decided to use a different one for every month. Mm -hmm. And this one is vintage teal. It's like nice. The stitch is up pretty dark, actually, but in the light it looks really bright, you know? Yeah. It does, it just stitches darker than, mm -hmm. than you would think. Nope. Good flow around the design, too. With your choices. <laughs> it is! Thanks. <laughs> Almost an ombre. Yeah, I suppose it is kind of. Um, I, when I... So it was like, the gift I won was, um, it was a uh, 12 flosses or something and she just said, tell me what colors you like. Yeah. And I told her that I like purples, blues, and greens, and sometimes reds. So of the 12, nine of them were blues and greens and, um, and then I got like a purple and a red. Okay. And that doesn't add up to 12, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so actually two um, two of these Quaker motifs are gentle arts, um, but yeah, I can't tell you which one's gentle on <laughs> And then I finished the center in that motif too, so, well, the birds, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Get myself together here. Okay, I finished those birds. Um, and Just then I... The flowers and the leaves. Yeah. Yeah, I just have the flowers and the leaves to do now. Um, and I was talking about doing those in green, but I, did, I think I decided not to do that. I think I'm just gonna stick with this dark blue. Well, and if you don't like it and wanna try green, you can just try it. That's right? true. <laughs> it's not permanent. Right. 
so yeah um, and I I did do I did fully finish two objects since I last filmed but I can't show you either one <laughs> Katie has seen them both because I did them at her house mm -hmm. and we're working on my third FFO um, which is a good one yeah I'm like sewing it, so <laughs> yeah. Katie's, yeah, Katie's helping me to learn how to sew, mm -hmm. so that's been nice. And you'll you'll be able to see all the finishes uh, once the people receive them. So yeah. Um. So that's all I have for my whips. Um, yeah. Do you want to show your finishes? Sure. So I the first shadowing I've done is actually a freebie and will likely be the last freebie on her site, I imagine, because she's passed away. Probably. So it's still available. Um, it's called Summer Mood or Summer Flowers, because the pattern says one thing and the file name says something else. Oh. Which is kind of confusing. Yeah. But it's still there, I checked. Um, it's this watering can with some flowers. I made changes mm -hmm. to her pattern. I, it calls for a variegated silk, and I subbed in spinach from Classic Color Works, I think. For the For vine? the green, yep. Okay. And then include it in here. Oh, yeah. And then the rest is DMC. And I, instead of the sparkle that she calls for, I use the DMC, the, the lovely snaggy DMC. <laughs> But, you know what? It works. <laughs> what is it called again? It's a... Uh, light Effects? DMC? Light Effects. I DMC so. Light Effects. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I used that on one of my um, last year's daycare provider gifts. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I used it a little bit. It was not... It's a it mess. was not super nice to work with, but it has yeah. a nice effect. I have some very nice knots in the back, but they will get covered up when I finish it. So. Yep. Doesn't yep. matter. Yeah. And I changed the outlining. So her design. The back stitching. Yeah, the back stitching. <laughs> Technical terms, Leah. <laughs> <laughs> so hers calls for back stitching the flowers, and mm. I decided not to do that at all. Mm. Even though the white flowers kind of blend in, but I kind of liked how that looks. It looks okay. It looks good. Yeah, and you can see it in person pretty well. It has a more watercolor effect that way, I think. Yeah. And then the watering can, though, I don't like the stepped back stitching. So I. It was charted to be around every stitch. Yep. Like, yep. Very boxy. And I don't really like how that looks. So I just did straight lines. Yeah. I'm with you there. For sure. Yeah. And it also called for it to be done in the sparkle. And I decided just to do it in the dark DMC that was called mm -hmm. for in the can. But you did couching for your backstitching, didn't you? Well, yeah. So longer lines, mm -hmm. I do couch them so couch they don't, them. yeah. So they do not come up off the fabric as easily. Can and you see that? Yeah. It's so almost, like these, these long invisible. lines right here and right here, they're like more couching. And then there's sparkles. Because if, I mean, the alternative is to do like three or four stitches and back stitch. Yeah. And that almost looks choppy sometimes to me. Yeah, it's got a really nice effect, the couching. I it it never even crossed my mind to do couching for back stitching. <laughs> yeah. But it does I mean it's got some really good And you barely can tell it's there unless you know. No, to look yeah, for you it. can't. Yeah. So it's a really nice effect. Yeah. So that was my most recent finish and yep. I I already know how I'm going to finish it. I just need to do that. <laughs> how are you going to finish it? I have a tray, um, a metal tray that I am going to put it in. So just you know, foam board or whatever. Are you gonna, are you gonna make it puffy, or are you gonna make it flat in the tray? I don't know. Probably flat. Yeah. I think. It, it would make a really huge pin cushion if it were. Yeah, like I'll probably now put that some, I say it. some batting behind there to soften all the, you know, knotted light effects. But. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Okay. So that is finished. So let's see Sarah. Okay. So the largest by far cross stitch I've ever done is from Hands Across the Sea, Sarah Brazier. Mm -hmm. And I started her yeah, June funny. of last year. Okay, it's really big. <laughs> yes, it's 24 by 24. Oh. So I started her June of last year and it took me until October or November. Oh, look at that. I cannot remember. It's so big. Can you yeah. So I worked on her a little bit every day. Some days more than others. Yeah. You were pretty much monogamous stitching, yeah. right, at this point? Yeah. With a little bit of variety. Some somewhat, but Yeah. Um yeah, let me give you a close up. This is so awesome in person. <laughs> but um and I, I look did at the, all that satin stitching. It's on a 40 count fabric. Yeah, 40 and count. And I did the DMC conversion as she charted. So which do you have like a favorite section of this that you worked on? I really like these plants okay. here and the deer. Alright, let's I don't want to wrinkle too much, but oh, it's okay. Okay, look at that section there. All the words are one over one. On 40 count? Mm -hmm. And you did full crosses? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is just really awesome. Did you add your uh, initials and dates? No, I didn't. I mean, I just did the date, but I didn't add my initials yet. I will. Okay. <laughs> Leah's telling me I need to put my initials on here. So. Yeah, I basically but I did made put her the year. promise. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. This was just really great. I saw, so. I think it was Rose Heck on Instagram. She also stitched this. And she is the one that did her date here in the corner, I'm pretty sure. And that's where I, I stole that idea from her. Was there a different date charted there? or No, there was nothing. But it nothing. seems like a really good spot. Oh, this is... Is this how you store it? For now. So this is a dowel <clears throat> from a um, scroll rod? Yeah. It's a scroll rod. Yeah. It's also a dowel. Yeah, it's one of the cheap ones. So you just slide the fabric in. So oh, that's, it that's really smart. Well. So you slide it in here and then you just roll it up and you well, store this it that is, way? Well, this is too short to do that. But oh, okay. Yeah. Just something so it doesn't get folded yeah. more or less until I frame it. Yep, that's pretty smart. So, we'll, we'll get to the framing. We will. Yeah. So, Katie and I have been meeting, like, at least once a month. Yeah. Sometimes more than once a month, if we're lucky. Mm -hmm. um, but we have been working on finishing a lot. Yes. Probably finishing more than actual stitching. Yeah. <laughs> but that's important, too. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely important. It does make it easier to make decisions sometimes, right? Yeah, to have... <laughs> it definitely is. To have a second opinion, like, right then and there, you know, mm -hmm. someone with even similar tastes and colors. And yeah. Yeah, so that's been that's been really fun for us to get together. Right. And do finishing and stitching. Yeah, I've actually got a lot finished. Me too, which... Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly I've done sewing, finishing, but yeah. It's okay. You've been making pillows. Yes. Like lots of little pillows. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And you're doing the Annie B's ornaments. Yes. Yeah. I brought the... I haven't started the next one, but... Oh, okay. Well, we can show. I brought it. Yeah, we can show some plans, because... Yeah. I, I don't have plans to show, but Katie's got... <laughs> Of lots of Some things. Good, yeah, good plans. So this is the August one here. And it comes with the other. So there's two free designs that she's releasing. So it's 14 total. Hmm. And so you pay for 12. Okay. And so this one had the second free one in it. That's cute. Which means I'm behind because I was all caught up. But these are really quick to do. Yeah. So they're only 40 some stitches by 40 something. So when you say you're behind, you mean you haven't done Augusts? Right. So is that really behind? <laughs> it is, because it's, it's the 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it is. is. But it's still August. I know. So, okay. So yeah, so that is something. And then, like Leah mentioned, I do dyeing. Mm -hmm. I do both dyeing on fabric and floss and yarn. So mm -hmm. I have different types of dyes. And I do the powdered dye instead of writ. Yeah, the liquid. Mm -hmm. More or so. less. So you have two big projects coming up that you wanted to... Yeah, to I don't do. have, I guess, the image of this one, because it's oh. an online stitch-along. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, what is it called again? Weaver's Birds. Yeah, Weaver's Birds. It's a free sale, right? Yeah. There's some people mm -hmm. doing the other, there's another Weaver's type pattern, and I. that's how I found this one, because yes. I checked out, I think Emily C. is doing, I think, I so. think I've seen that on her Instagram. And Michelle Bendy. Okay. Michelle, I think. Yeah, here it is. Um, is this is this as far as it? Yeah, because it's the current year. Okay, so this is what it's going to be. It says the weavers, weavers bird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, weavers birds. Yep. Sal. Yeah. And it's a free pattern. It's a free stitch along, on magicals, quilts, and more. Mm -hmm. Blog. So that will be in the the um, comment section below. Yeah, so I over dyed a light gray DMC because I, I buy it by the cone and instead of doing all white I have done, I have like cream and a gray to dye and so I did this blue so pretty. over dye. So that's going to be really nice with those birds. <clears throat> So that one. And you'll be doing it on this 28 count even weave. Yep. This is the antique white um, MGC textiles. So that'll look really nice together. Yeah, and I don't think the fabric needs to be oh, it's dyed at white. all. But yeah. if you did, you could, I don't know, coffee stain or tea you stain. Know, or I don't know. I prefer walnut. I do prefer the walnut dye, and I, it doesn't seem to be as popular. Coffee seems to be the thing more people do. It's accessible. It is, but the walnut crystals are too. Probably nobody knows about it. <laughs> I mean, I I hardly know about it just from what you. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, me I heard about it years ago from Stacy Nash. Okay. Cause she, that's where I bought mine from. Okay. The, the stash of them I have on, from her online store. I don't know if she still sells them. I imagine she does. Okay. Because it's more of the primitive look, but... Well, I imagine you could get it somewhere, the walnut. Probably. So you said it's a spray. Well, so the spray is what I used on the needle worker, but they yeah. come as crystals, so like powdered, and then you okay. you can make the strength of color you want. Just like and coffee and tea. Yeah. So you yeah. brew... Yeah. You brew the liquid yep. with the walnut yep. crystals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it sounds... the upside crazy. is... It doesn't smell like coffee, which is not always a bad thing, but sometimes mm. you don't want that. If you don't, I, I know people who don't like the smell of coffee. Right. And I love the so, smell of coffee, yeah. but I don't always want it on my stitching because it doesn't go away very easily. Hmm. And the walnuts don't stain or don't. So when I've ironed the coffee dyed fabric, mm -hmm. I have to clean my iron. <laughs> oh, that is such a good Because it transfers to yes, it. Yes, because the, it's oil. The walnut doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, there I'm you lazy. Go. That's <laughs> Hey. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound very lazy. But, yeah, I don't I didn't bring the spray, but it's something I think I found at in like the scrapbooking section mm -hmm. of well, Michaels or something. I maybe when you show your needle worker finish, yeah. you can also show the spray I will. on your video. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Notes from the trail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It's at home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So that's something that you can you can tune in to her channel but, for. Like I said, I got the crystals the from Stacy Nash okay. years, years ago. Yeah, I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. Probably. Just that Google machine. Because black walnut trees is how people dye some of their stuff. They you boil the black walnuts, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Hmm. You cool. can even make your own if you yep. have the trees. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would if I had them. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> I don't think nuts grow very well up here. I thought I've heard somebody said they had one on their property, but I don't remember that in my real life. A life. black walnut? Yeah. They're really um they're, they're really valuable. And they stain. 
They're really valuable trees, though. Yeah. Like, for the hardwood, I think. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah. Anyway, dyeing talk. <laughs> I do coffee and tea dye some things, too. Yeah. I just like to play. So then this is another one of your plans, right? The long dog? Yeah. The pilgrim. I, I've never done a long dog samplers, but I have this one and the quilts one. Mm-hmm. And the quilts, I'll probably just do the DMC. But I decided to dye black. Mm -hmm. It's not as variegated as I've gotten for black before. Um, but this is also done on the gray because I did not want white. I think white would have shown up maybe a little bit more variegation. But I wanted it to be more of a silver and black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I did about 150 yards of floss. <laughs> That's a lot of floss. I it mean, is. It's, yeah. But I didn't um, want to run out. Handful. So I was telling this Leah that the problem with handful. dyeing your own and not keeping track of dye strength is that it's hard to match again. If you run out. If you out. run out. <sighs> yeah. Because I don't keep track. <laughs> I, don't I, even keep, I don't even keep track of what colors I'm using. I just kind of pick. Yeah. Well, but that's okay. I mean, it, if it, it works for it you, then that's fine. Yeah. You know, it's so I did way more than I think I'm going to need because I'm going to do the long dog one over one on the same 28 count. Oh, yeah. So it'll be small. Mm -hmm. Oh, one over one on 28 count. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, you you like you enjoy doing one over one, yeah, on high count fabrics. Well, yeah, right? I mean, I've done like one over one on twenty five. Yeah, I've I've done a little bit you of know, that. Heaven, yeah. I did a heaven and earth designs. That yeah, way. you did. Yeah, the ornament, <laughs> ornament. <laughs> if you've ever seen one in real life, it's like the size of this hoop. Yeah, it's eight, in eight inches. Yeah. Well, this is a seven inch, so it's bigger than this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ornament. Yeah. <laughs> Ornament. It's just round. Yeah. So, so then, the other one I I dyed a whole bunch of floss for is the... Leah's doing this one too, and she's yeah. actually the one that I found it from. Owl Forest That's, Embroidery yeah. is, is doing this free um, Wizard of Oz sow. They call it Emerald City. Emerald City sow. And that's not current as to where she is. No, yeah, she's got a, a motif here, and then the emerald castles here, and then I think we're just waiting for like the top two sides. So, yeah, yeah, I am doing this too, but I just haven't worked on it in <laughs> a long time. But that's okay. Yeah. So I am doing mine on this thirty-two count star sapphire linen. This is one of my favorite linen colors yeah, actually that. yep i do i do love this one um this ugh, okay well yeah, it's so washed out yeah we're not gonna get it <laughs> it's we're a not light, sagey green we're kinda. not gonna get a good yeah it's i mean what is this like a beachy sea sagey glass. sea glass kind of a green mm -hmm. it just doesn't it just doesn't come out on the video but no yeah, so you hand dyed all of your yeah. glasses. <laughs> so <laughs> she, really... her pattern calls for a lot of her own. Yeah. Hand dyed. Yeah. But the... she also gives the DMC conversion and other ones because it's in Russian, right? The other, the language for the most part. Yeah. Um, the Owl Forest, I don't know what the Owl Forest flosses are, if they are the. If they dye their own or if they're using like gamma. Yeah. Oh, gamma is an option here. Yep, and then this other one that is in. Some Russian. Yeah. So I decided I wanted to dye my own. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted it to not be DMC. Sometimes I like the look of the solid, but sometimes I like not solid. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like a decent challenge mm -hmm. to do. Um, I just went off of the color name that she gave, which I imagine is the DMC color name. Because she has her own color name over here. Yeah. I don't know if DMC does... They do name their colors. Do they name? Mm -hmm. I mean, Wedgwood. If I just say Wedgwood... <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's a what China color? pattern thing. 
Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Now that you say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. The um, China. Mm -hmm. It's a really famous. Yeah. Pack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's the blue that they use. Wow, yeah. There, <laughs> there we go. Mind blown. But I just went off of that and then... Um, so the dyes I use are all from Dharma Trading Company. They're a pretty long-standing company for dyeing materials and I highly recommend them if you are interested in getting started in Can it. Load this all up here? Yeah okay. so um, some of the colors I have <clears throat> matched name-wise some I knew kind of what they look like coming out because I've dyed enough fabric mm -hmm. with them. Others I just kind of picked and I, I did a lot of colors to try to get something I liked. That's going to be a really nice yellow so. brick road right there. It's like so kind of mustardy. It's, oh, it's not going to look skinny. like hers so much. No. But that's okay. That's fine because I think that's the beauty of mm -hmm. picking your own flosses. You know, you make it your own color right. palette and that's yeah. the moss. This is going to be the poppy. It's looking a little bit brighter on the video. But, but it's the like sun a, just got weird on us, didn't it? So Like an orangey red. And you did a black, which is pretty black. Yeah. And that black is on white. So these are all over dyed on just white DMC. So those are mostly... Did you decide on these? Uh, I think so. Um, I consulted with Leah for another set of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I have had a really hard time with browns and grays. But I think that these two might be my browns. And then possibly this one in as a salmon, maybe skin color. Possibly. Possibly. And then, See how it stitches up. Yeah, the grays. <clears throat> so. Okay, that is going to look awesome. See these. Whoop. <laughs> so these two colors are in the lion so this will be like the body and mm -hmm. then the mane I think th those will look really nice together yeah and then the salmon really isn't used very much in the pattern no all, not so, so far maybe you could even upper. yeah but I have other options because I like I said I did a lot um, I did another yellow mm -hmm. yeah which is super really bright, bright. Another bright blue. Yeah. And these these will, would these would work I think if if yeah. you had but you'd have to select different I don't know. We'll if see. You, just if decide or what am I trying to say? Um you just have to decide on the mood. Right. Well and I can just kinda really, really bright. I could totally change her charting completely. Yep. For a different color. Yep, you could. But I have lots of browns that are, some of them are purple cast, mm -hmm. different grays. Yeah, so you, you really did it, kind of a trial, uh -huh. trial and error. Yeah, I discovered I have, I need so. to widen the selection of dyes I have at home. Mm. Do you mix colors? Sometimes. Well, more or less I've done it with snow dyeing. On fabric. Mm. But then the color breaks and you get more of the spotting that. Oh, that like the pink? <clears throat> Here's one. This one? Yeah, where you see that, where the color, the dye breaks so that it adds I don't know spots. It's going to come up. Where's the gray? Oh no, did we just mix them all together? This. Okay. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we have we have video evidence. Okay, I'm trying to get these I think it's spots here. here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Okay. Do you see those little spots? This like a little pink spot. Yeah, so the dyes right are there. not made up of a solid color. They're they're mixed by the dye by Dharma trading. And they're just like the black dye, when you look at the powder, mm -hmm. it's red and black granules. Mm. So it's, even the dyes themselves aren't a solid color. And they vary for batch to batch for them too. Yeah. 
which is why you sometimes see discontinued colors in things because mm -hmm. the the source company changed their own dye yeah and that's that's pretty interesting I, I'm very fascinated by <laughs> the whole process but yeah I I don't usually have a plan I play more than anything yeah that's fun mm -hmm. it is so. Um, all right, the only other thing we have to show is I have a little bit of haul that I would like to share with you. Um, I haven't even shown Katie. Um, so my first thing, I wanted to, okay, so I sort of spontaneously purchased a Hawker and Hollow. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually talking to Katie about this Hawk Run Hollow that I was considering and um, she told me that I could save my search on eBay yeah and so I went home and I did that and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then basically the first the first one that popped up that was like you know a good price mm -hmm. I, I bid on it and I got a really good deal um, and I wanted to show you how this came packaged because it's really above and beyond um, I won't show you the envelope because it's got her shipping information on it, but it's like stamped. Yeah. And it might even be hand stamped. I don't think so. It, it might be hand stamped. And then, <clears throat> so the seller on eBay, her name on eBay is Susan, Susan B dash M. Um, and she is basically de-stashing and she's using eBay to de-stash nice. and so and but she's got like hundreds of stuff up there and everything is for bid I think um she doesn't have a set it's not a set price like some of the cross-stitch stores I've seen on eBay mm -hmm. so you can bid for everything that she lists mm -hmm. and um she just these are things that she bought for herself um and either knows that she's not going to stitch ever or she already did stitch it i think it, she marks that it's used okay um this this is brand new i guess um sometimes she doesn't remember what she bought so she buys multiple and then yeah. she puts the the multiple <laughs> i think we've all done that at least once <laughs> <laughs> yeah relatable i think i've got like four of the same dmc number on some numbers because Okay. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you how nice, how, and she wrote me this super long, nice handwritten note. Wow. Yeah. And just tissue wrap this pattern. So, um, that is nice. With yeah. how many patterns she's selling, she could just chuck them in an envelope. I and... know. I just, I felt like, I felt like I was receiving this from another stitcher because I was. Yeah. You know, like, and stitchers are wonderful. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the um, Hawk Run Hollow that I purchased. It's Automate Hawk Run Hollow. Um, I plan to do this on Picture This Plus J fabric, which is um, purpley. So it'll have like a purpley. Yeah, that'll be nice. Purpley background. I have no idea when I will start this. Um, I will not be buying NPI silks. <laughs> I, I'm not either. I, I want to do like all of them and I'm going to do You have a couple, right? You yep. have the... I have the map and I have a year, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. You have the no. year. No, I have village. Yeah, village. village. <laughs> the one that Anne's doing. <laughs> right. Yep. NP, <laughs> fiber, floss, and fiction. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got this. And then, um, yeah, I just, I got a couple, a couple gifts. I don't know, I don't know when I'll stitch these, but my son's best friend, he's like four, but he loves fishing. So oh. I thought eventually, well, his family does too. So I thought eventually I'll do one of these or maybe both. Um, you know, a whole bunch of lures. Okay, this is called Ink Circles Arranging Lures. Oh, yeah. And then this is Gone Fishing by Pickle Barrel Designs. I've never stitched one of their designs before, but... Me either. Yeah, but I thought it was pretty cute. So, gifts. Sometime. <laughs> and then the you rest... You do like your gift stitching. I do. <laughs> I do like my gift stitching. It's a good thing. Uh, I know. Um, okay, 
so the rest of these purchases I'm blaming or maybe thanking <laughs> Misty Purcell because <laughs> Misty you were talking about how much you love Halloween and I was thinking to myself you know I just I don't really like Halloween but maybe I should try to like Halloween more I don't know do you like Halloween stitching I do okay it's my favorite holiday <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know that. I love the fall, and it okay. fits perfectly in. So, like, what kind of what kind of Halloween theme do you get into? Do you do like scary Halloween, cute <sighs> Halloween? I like the primitive, primitive Halloween. Yeah. So, I think if I were to get into Halloween, I would probably lean more towards primitive. Yeah, myself. So I don't. I really like like the praiseworthy stitches, the big Halloween ones they have. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I like those too. And then I have I do I have those, those Victorians that are the Halloween, the trick or treater ones. Oh from Judith. Um Victoria um, Sampler? No. What? I'll look. Okay. <laughs> I think Jesse Marie Oops just Marie. finished them. One of them. And Priscilla from Priscilla and Chelsea's done mm. them. Okay. That's probably where I'll look for the picture. Well I'll look on her blog because I know she has a photo of it. Okay, so meanwhile, um, so meanwhile, I went on a hunt for for Halloween patterns that I can get behind and that I really, um, that I actually genuinely like, and I found this Kathy Barrick. I know that yeah, you love Kathy Barrick. I do. Um, so this pattern is called October thirty first, um, and. I just really love it for some reason. Um, bats, cats, and a snake, and pumpkins, and an owl. Um, I don't know. I just like it. And this is, I'm, I'm also going to stitch this on picture this plus J. But don't ask me when. <laughs> well, it's more autumn, even more than just... It is. And um, so I like snakes. Um, I actually used to have a phobia, like a genuine, <laughs> oh, a, really, a genuine phob phobia of snakes. Um, oh. Yeah, but I overcame it, and now snakes and I are friends. And you don't see many snakes in in um, cross stitch patterns. No, not really. So I found this one. But then I also found this one. Um, this is Birds of a Feather Remember Me. Um, but I know some of you are gonna groan. Uh, I'm not gonna stitch this part. I don't like the witch. I don't like the witch or the saying. <laughs> you just like the skeleton? Yeah, I just like the skeleton with the snakes and the rats or mice. Oh yeah. All over the bones. Yeah. And the the village. And so it's like you know, some dead skeleton being <laughs> decomposed under a village. I mm -hmm. think that's well, pretty Halloween-y and oh, also yeah. realistic. Yeah. That's, I think that's more of the kind of Halloween I can get behind. And then this last one, um, I've had my eye on this for a long time and I guess Leslie, um, Leslie Hurley, Fat Cat, Fat Cat Flossing, mm -hmm. um, recently showed some Birds of a Feather patterns, and um, she showed this one, and I was like, oh, I've always liked that one, so I just decided to get it. It's more cutesy, but a skeleton fish, I mean, fish bones, I love fish bones. And so I got that. So thanks, Misty, <laughs> for <laughs> enabling me and Leslie Hurley, because yeah. the way she was talking about uh, birds of a feather just made me think that I was never going to be able to find these. Someday. Well, yeah, they're they will, they go to print. <sighs> yeah. So, but did you see that Blackbird Designs re-released some of their out of yeah, print ones? They did. So yeah. maybe the trend will all be that we can see some of these out of print ones. Yeah. Again, because I really like their like the gold Santa and the green Santa that is so hard to find. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. I yep. love those. They're really cute stitched up. Yeah, and they're really expensive. 
to are they? find. Oh, well, my these God. are not expensive. Because they're out of print. These are not expensive. <laughs> and, I mean, are these out of print? Do you know? I don't think Birds those of a two feather? are. Some, I mean, some expensive. of them are, and some of them aren't for yeah. their designs. Yeah, these were not very expensive. I don't remember about this one. So. No, it's just eBay. <laughs> Where they're out of print sometimes. Yeah. So, did you find what you were looking for? I'm looking still. Oh, okay. I don't know. <clears throat> maybe so yeah okay well this is that. it's not a finished photo but judith kirby did a whole series of victorian houses all victorian houses oh, yeah those. so i have both of i don't know if this is going to show up very well let's see kind of too bright if we go this way so I have both of those Victorian that you can stitch together as one piece to do. Okay. So I kind of like that. It's kind of cutesy. Yeah. Are you going to start any of those this year? Who knows? I should. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Whoever knows. Leah dug through my pattern stash and I have a lot of patterns. <laughs> I did. <laughs> She's got, you got some good stuff. I have there. a lot of things though. A lot you of have... big ones. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of big ones. And you really like Kathy Barrick. I do. Yeah, it seems. Mm -hmm. from, from your stash, it seems. Well, you know, she puts her some of her patterns out of print, too. So oh, she'll so... discount them when she's going to put them out of print in her Etsy store. Oh, well, that's a good tip. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I follow her blog, and she'll post on there that she's retiring whatever designs and get them half off it's like insider info it's almost in almost it's in the public yeah it's not illegal right <laughs> <laughs> okay well um i think that's pretty much all we have for today yeah so i hope you enjoyed our joint venture yeah um i don't know if this will or can happen again who knows yeah it's hard probably to say. sometime Probably sometime. Could be. So, this is the part I'm terrible at. <laughs> <laughs> the closing? <laughs> yeah. This is it. I never know how to close the deal. It's like the story of my life. Okay? I'm not a closer. Could never be in sales. Well, say hi. Hi to both oh. of us. Yes. Online. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm pretty active on Instagram. Yes. We both have Instagram. You on Instagram are Terrier, Terrier Landing. Mm -hmm. Terrier Landing, and I'm Aviatrix Stitcher. And so you can find us there, mm -hmm. and you can find her videos um, via the link below. I just did a whip parade yesterday. A whip parade? That should be good. Yeah. I got some good things going. Sure. <laughs> too many things. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> yes. If we want to talk about too many things, <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> Stitch Mania. <laughs> I know, but I just talked about my cross stitch and like an embroidery and a punch needle. And okay. I have like at least 20 knitting whips. So I have a lot of whips. Okay. Of all varieties. Did you show the knitting on your whip parade? No, I did not. Okay. Well, maybe you can do like a knitting, maybe. a knitting whip parade. Maybe. Maybe. So. Yeah. Then we can laugh at how, how little I've done on some of them. <laughs> Well, maybe just me. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find other things in the day. We'll find other things to laugh about. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, you'll see me here sometime, <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see Katie on her channel sometime. Yep. So, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Thank you. And we'll see you later. See ya. Take care. <laughs>